Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning and welcome to St. Isidore's. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Newman Bishop. Our opening song is number 112, the first Noel, number 112. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray.
Cast your kindly light upon your faithful Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another, unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous. Do not be amazed, then, brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to know love was that he laid down his life for us, so we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? <coughs> Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him. And whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater than our, heart, than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, Give thanks to him, bless his name. And all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. And all the earth cry out to God with joy. Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you O Lord Jesus decided to go to Galilee and he found Philip and Jesus said to him follow me now Philip was from Bethsaida the town of Andrew and Peter Philip found Nathanael and told him we have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? 
Jesus answered him and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord. Probably many of us have seen the series, The Chosen, and at times I watch it over and over. I love the storyline, I love the characters, I love the way that they have depicted all the things about the, the series. But Jesus says one thing in there, and I absolutely love it. When he looks at Matthew and he says, follow me. And in today's gospel, he asks the same thing. And Matthew kind of steps back, kind of looks around, and he looks at him and gives the emotions like, are you talking to me? Like, I'm a sinner. I'm a tax collector. And I don't know what it is that you would want from me. But something inside there tells Matthew to say yes, and he follows Jesus. I think today's world tells us that we should all be these strong leaders and we should never follow anybody, but lead everybody to places. We should be a leader at our work and at our home. And yes, that's true, we should. But how do we become a leader? We become a leader by following those who teach us. Today's gospel calls Jesus rabbi, which means teacher. And he is there to teach them all that they should know. Your children, all you children, you have teachers that have gained wisdom and knowledge of all the subjects that they teach you and show you. Our parents, they teach us how to be good mothers and fathers. They teach us how to live a good life. There are so many ways that we can follow people to learn. If you decide to become a doctor, you will not go to the surgery table right away. You will have to follow someone there. And you'll have to learn and gain in wisdom and knowledge, which is what Jesus did. Jesus tells us in the Gospels that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And I think that we should follow Jesus along the way. And as we do that, he will teach us the truths. And he will show us the way to eternal life. And that's what we're all here to do. Figure out how can we get to heaven. Nathaniel, in the gospel today, looks at Jesus in amazement and says, how do you know me? Well, the only way that he would know Nathaniel is if he was truly the son of God. He's seen him under a fig tree. And Nathaniel recognized that there was nobody around. It was quiet and peaceful and he was just sitting there. How would Jesus know? And then once Jesus showed that to him, he had a choice to make, and it was to follow him and proclaim that he is the Son of God, the King of Israel, the one who was sent to lead us to heaven. As we grow in knowledge and we decide what we're going to do in life and all the things that you children will have to make the good decisions to get to where you want to be, you will have to follow somebody. And it's in following them that you will become a good leader. Jesus asks us to follow him so that we can gain knowledge and wisdom. And then we can go out too and lead others to Christ. Peter was a very strong leader. You can tell in all the things that we see in the gospels how he says, I will not allow that to happen to you, Lord. We will handle it. And how Peter always stands up and defends Jesus. And Jesus tells him, there's a time for that. But right now, you have to learn from me. And if we ever plan to make it to heaven, we have to learn how to follow Jesus' lead. 
And as we follow someone, we can grow to be more like them. They didn't start out leading or teaching you. Your parents didn't know how to be parents until they experienced all the things that they experienced. And Jesus just calls us each and every day that through his love and his example, we can go out too and be just like him. And one day he will lead us to heaven and he will offer us eternal life. And at that moment, we will have a decision to make. Do we believe that Jesus is the King of Israel, the son of the living God? Will we say yes as he allows us to make that choice to be him, with him in heaven? The only way that we can say yes to Jesus when he calls us home is if we have followed him, if we have learned from him, if we have taken his examples, and if we have grown to be like him so that we can be him in the times when he is most needed. And that's in our crazy world that we live in. So as you grow and learn, children, it's okay to follow. It's a good thing to learn. Always be willing to learn all that you can. Allow those who can teach you the wisdom and knowledge that you need to do so. And then as you grow to become an adult and you start making your decisions and where you want to go, then you can be Jesus's face and you can lead others to Christ and they will follow you if you teach them the truth. Let's pray. Oh well, God, our Heavenly Father, you sent your son Jesus to be our savior. Help us always to listen to him and to follow him, for he alone can lead us to you. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and deacons, that the Holy Spirit may guide them in their ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the respective life from conception conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely, grieving, and suffering in any way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may have eternal life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the needs and attentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer this Mass today for the living and deceased of the German family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away, woe, my sin, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. To your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the face of this awesome mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten for all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up to himself all that was cast down, he might restore humanity to all creation, and call strain humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in humble adoration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. 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 takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you at this moment, come to me at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please join in singing number 73, Bread of Life, number 73. We'll water. sing verses 3, 4, water. and 5. Get me some water. Bread of life Hope of the world Jesus Christ our brother Feed us now Give us life Lead us to one another A child is born for us a son is given to us in our midst, Christ our Lord and God comes as one who serves bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ our brother.
Oh, let us pray. O oh God, who touch us through the, our participating of the Blessed Sacrament, we pray the effects of its power in our hearts that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join together in praying for the success of our parish building. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. You have been the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled parish center for all, for all generations. generations. Most sacred heart of Jesus, pray, pray for, for us. us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Isidore, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth, glorifying the Lord by your life. Our closing song is number 87, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 87. We have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echo back the joyous strains. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.